So we're here at the example table, and in this video we're going to do some more with the chain rule. So just to remind ourselves, the chain rule says that the derivative of f of g of x is f prime of g of x times g prime of x. Right, it's the derivative of f evaluated at g times the derivative of g. Well, what if we have f of g of h of x? How do we find the derivative of this thing? Well, we'll use the chain rule again. So in the chain rule, we apply f to some function, we're applying f to some function inside. And here we're going to apply f to some function inside. The only difference is that here, that function inside is itself a composition of functions. So we'll need to use the chain rule twice. So the first thing to do that the chain rule tells us is we take f prime and we evaluate it at whatever's inside, which is g of h of x. And then we multiply that by the derivative of what's inside. And the derivative of what's inside well, let's, for now, just write the derivative of g of h of x. Now, we use the chain rule again to find this. So, first part is still f prime of g of h of x. And now, times what? Let's apply the chain rule. So we have times g prime of h of x times the derivative of what's inside here, which is h prime of x. So we end up with these three parts, here, here, and here. This f prime part came from applying the chain rule first to f, which also gave us this g prime part. The second application of the chain rule gave us, well, from this g prime, gave us the h prime. So in general, you might need the chain rule on whatever's inside f, but it's worth noting that you'll never need it to find f prime, because f prime is always the outermost function, and it's always, um, it's just a single function. And by that I mean it's not the composition of multiple functions. So if you have a string of compositions, f will always be the outermost function, not a composition. So let's look at an example. So let's set f of x equal to sine of 2 to the x to the fifth. So here, sine of something is our outermost function. This is our outermost function. And whatever's inside, which is 2 to the x to the fifth, is the rest. So let's work through this step by step. And at any given step, we're only worried about the outermost function. So the first thing, we're not going to worry about this 2 to the x to the fifth. We're just going to be looking at the sign. So f prime of x is the derivative of sine, which is cosine evaluated at whatever's inside, which is the rest here. So evaluated at 2 to the x to the fifth. And then times the derivative of 2 to the x to the fifth. And now 2 to the something is our outermost function. And x to the fifth is the rest. So f prime of x is cosine of 2 to the x to the fifth times, now the derivative of this 2 to the something, which is the natural log of 2 times 2 to whatever that thing is, which is x to the fifth, 
times the derivative of the rest. And here it's just x to the fifth, so times 5x to the fourth. So, let's just look at what we did again. We started with the outermost function, which is sine. We took the derivative, we evaluated at what's inside, and then multiplied by the derivative of what's inside. To figure out the derivative of what's inside, we use the chain rule a second time, with 2 to the something being the outermost function, x to the fifth being the rest. And so this is our answer.